Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP, JPY, British Pound, Japanese Yen. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do not forget to check out the Forex Analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GAP USD, Gold USD and many more. So let's get started. <clears throat> So this is the 4 loss chart of GBPJPY in front of us right now and as you can see that this market isn't downtrend. If I zoom out the chart and if I just ask you to observe the chart here then you can easily see that this market isn't downtrend okay, because you can see that market is constantly making lower highs here, market is failing to cross the previous high, blah 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 blah. So almost all the technical factors are indicating that this is a seller's market, market is unable to go upside. But one more thing that we also need to focus here or we cannot deny the fact that whenever there was a fall in the market, okay, market also gave us a sharp recovery. You can see that market always gave us sharp recovery. So in my earlier video, that's why I recommended a buy at this particular level and many of you have made good money good profit from my analysis and also texted me personally so i was extremely happy for you guys anyways anyways uh, if we just okay if we just focus now on this particular portion of the chart here then you can still see that market is in downtrend okay listen to me carefully overall chart we have seen it is towards the downside clear Yes, whenever market was falling or coming down, there was sharp recovery, but overall market is towards the downside. And if we just focus on the particular chart or present chart, then also we can see that market is in downtrend. Okay, but if we just focus here in the past few candles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is the 4 hours chart, so each candle signifies 4 hours. So 4 hours into 10 candles it means that 40 hours so for the past 40 hours we can see that there is not much movement or anything in the gbp jpy chart previously there was a sharp fall in the market i recommended a buy because there was support here but right now we can see that there is not much movement on the chart of gbp jpy or there is no proper trend here for the last 40 hours if you if you go to the forex sentiment meter here okay this is a forex sentiment meter you can see that uh, in the forex sentiment meter 48 percent retail traders have taken short position and 51 percent retail traders have taken long position and you'll find the forex sentiment meter on my website abilashhazarika.com under forex 101 section so forex uh, sentiment is also giving us the indication that retail traders are also confused retail traders are also in dilemma in which direction market will move they are also not sure whether the market will be going up or going down and if we go to the forex volatility calculator here okay forex this is a forex volatility calculator and in the gbp jpy section you can see that in the 5 minutes you can expect a movement of 3 pips in the 15 minutes you can expect a movement of 2.9 pips in the 30 minutes you can expect a movement of 5 pips and in the 1 hour you can moment, expect a movement of 13 pips so volatility is also quite low okay. and one more thing recently I have also launched a pro trader membership program where I'll, where I'll be sharing the best trading opportunities on the market with you guys for just $15 per month and there are other things also if you want if you are interested then please go through all the information and click on the subscribe button that's it okay. so retail traders are confused and for the past 40 hours 40 hours we have seen that there is no proper direction in the market clear and overall market is towards the downside and if we go to the weekly chart here this is the weekly chart of gbp jpy and we can see that weekly chart is telling us a different story. The weekly chart is extremely bullish here and if we just look at the present chart here then it seems that market is consolidating because overall chart is towards the downside. And there is also a support here on the weekly chart and market has taken support. And the weekly chart was the reason, the support from the weekly chart was the reason why I recommended a buy. So. 
Things are quite confusing right now. I think so. You are you are thinking of what Avilas is saying. Aha, blah blah blah. Okay. So just keep in mind. Okay. 149.50 is a very strong support for the market. Okay. 149.50 is a very strong support for the market because this support belongs to the weekly chart. And apart from this support level, we also have a resistance level. Okay. Resistance in the form of this trend line. Because market is in downtrend. Okay. Market is in downtrend, therefore, we must be having a resistance, and this trend line is the resistance for the market. You can see that since May, okay, since May, whenever market was trying to go up, it was facing resistance from above, and this trend line is acting as a resistance for the market. So this trend line is the resistance, and this is the support for the market. So we have a support, we have a resistance right now. And overall market is in downtrend clear okay. so what should be a strategy for gbp jpy for according to me okay in a market condition like this you should not trade because see uh, just uh, just tell me one thing do you think that your hard-earned money okay your hard-earned money deserves a chart like this do you think that your hard-earned money deserves a chart where market is standing standing still for 40 hours? No. You, your hard-earned money does not deserve a chart like this. There are multiple currency pairs available where, where you can trade, where good trading opportunities are available. For example, Euro USD is also in a good position to short the market. But GBP JPY is in the middle here. And if you go for a buy here, okay, if you go for a buy here, okay, then your stop loss will be here. This will be your take profit target. Don't you think that stop loss is a huge here? And if you short the market here, okay, again you're risking with the risk to reward ratio because this will be your stop loss. So trading in the middle is not an option here because if you trade in the middle, then you are risking your hard earned capital because we do not have any proper support here, any proper resistance here. We do not have anything anything solid to execute our trade here so this is not a good position to buy or sell in the market we, yes we had a good opportunity here when i recommended a buy but right now i will not recommend anything i'll just i'll just recommend a wait okay i'll just recommend a wait and watch on gbp jpy as long as market does not go up okay, it may take one day two day three days does not matter but at least you will get a good opportunity when market will be going up and reverse from this trend line so that you can short the market or in case market goes down comes down and bounces from this support from the weekly chart okay so buy at support sell at resistance Apart from these two levels, we do not have any proper buying or selling position on the GEP JPY chart right now because there is no proper resistance here, no support here. So I will not recommend anything on GEP JPY. I'll again just I'll tell that just wait and watch until and unless it reaches either this level or this level. We do not need to do anything because chart is quite confusing right now. We do not have any confirmation whether market will be going up or going down. So hopefully I have succeeded in making you understand what you need to do. So this is it. Hopefully I've understood. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. See you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.